Question four, exercise 1.6. Uh, this is where we're using de Moivre's theorem to prove trig identities. Uh, the question is A, let Z equal cos theta plus I sine theta, and let W equal Z plus 1 over Z. Given that Z to the N plus Z to the minus N is equal to 2 cos N theta, prove this expression. Okay, so prove that W cubed minus 2W squared minus W plus 2 is equal to all of this. All right, now obviously we have to use this part of the question, okay, to help us get this side. So we're going to substitute z plus 1 over z into our w's on the left-hand side. Okay, so I'll just write the left-hand side down. w cubed minus 2w squared minus w plus 2. Okay, and I'm going to now substitute the w, z plus 1 over z, okay, into there. So we go z plus 1 over z cubed minus 2, again, z plus 1 over z squared minus z plus 1 over z, because that's your w, plus 2. Okay, now we have to use our Pascal's triangle um, for this expansion here. Okay, remember the coefficients for a cubic were 1, 3, 3, 1. So let's do that expansion. So that would be z cubed plus 3, reduce the index by 1, so 3z squared, and then start writing your other term times 1 over z. Okay, plus, we're still there, so plus 3, the next coefficient is 3, okay. Reduce that by 1, so you got z, and increase that by 1, so you got 1 over z squared. Okay, and then one more term, plus we cube the last term. So 1 over z cubed. Okay, that takes care of that much. Now we have to do this part. So it's minus 2, bracket, polynomial expansion. That becomes z squared plus... 2 times z times 1 over z, and then plus 1 over z squared, okay, and then take away the z, take away 1 over z, and plus 2. Okay, now let's keep going. So we've got z cubed plus, this becomes... 3z, then plus 3 over z, plus 1 over z cubed, that's that much, and now we expand this one, so we got minus 2z squared, and then um, we have z times 1 over z is 1, so minus 2 times 2 times 1 is minus 4. And then minus 2 times this term is minus 2 over z squared. And then just write what's left. We've got minus z minus 1 over z plus 2. Okay. All right. Now, we can group um, again. So we can take the z cubed and the 1 over z cubed and put them together. Okay, so I'm going to do that. It's going to be z cubed plus 1 over z cubed. Okay, which is starting to look like what we have on the right-hand side. Okay, let's keep going. We've got um, the z squared term. So we've got z squared here and z squared there. And there's minus 2 of a common factor of minus 2 in front of those. So we go minus 2 outside of z squared plus 1 over z squared. That takes care of those two. Okay. And then I look at my z terms. Um, I have uh, 3z and I also have minus z, so that's 2z. Okay. So I've got 2z and then I've also got um, 3 on z minus 1 on z. Okay. 
So when you factorize that, you get plus 2 bracket z plus 1 on z. All right, and don't forget, um, you've got minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. And that is equal to the right-hand side. Okay, so that's part A. Now for part B. Okay, part B says, hence solve cos 3 theta minus 2 cos 2 theta plus 2 cos theta minus 1 equals 0 for minus pi less than or equal to theta less than or equal to pi. Okay, so for part B, um, this was part A, and now we'll do part B. So I'll move that up. All right, now for part B, we are given, all right, just remember we were given, we are given in the question. that um, z to the n plus z to the minus n is equal to 2 cos n theta. All right? All right. Okay, so let's um, take the left-hand side and uh, let's just write this whole expression. We're going to write this whole expression that we proved here. All right? And let's push that up a little. So we've got um, W cubed minus 2W squared minus W plus 2, okay, is equal to Z cubed plus 1 over Z cubed minus 2 outside of Z squared plus 1 over Z squared plus 2 outside of Z plus 1 over Z minus 2. Okay. Now we're going to use this expression to write these in terms of cos. Okay. So if you've got a 3 as your power, that's going to make that 2 cos 3 theta. Okay. Minus 2 times, now you have a 2 as a power, so it'll be times 2 cos 2 theta. And then you have plus 2 times, okay, the power is 1, so put 1 into there to be 2 cos 1 theta, 2 cos theta. And don't forget, minus 2 is still there. Okay? All right, so we have a common factor of 2. Let's take that out. So you've got cos 3 theta minus 2 cos 2 theta plus um, 2 cos theta minus 1. All right. And we're going to divide now. Now you see this expression here. All right. That is what the expression looks like that we're going to solve. So we need to get rid of that 2. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. I'm going to divide all of this by 2 and all of this by 2. So divide both sides by 2 and you're going to get W cubed on 2 minus w squared minus w on 2 plus 1 okay, is equal to, and uh, divide that by 2, just get rid of that 2, so you just write the rest of the expression. That's in the brackets. Don't forget to write it properly. 2 cos... Okay. All right, now since we're being asked to solve uh, that this expression here is equal to zero, that means that if this is equal to this side, then we can just solve this side equal to zero. So I will write w cubed on two minus w squared minus w on two plus one equals zero. We're going to solve that. All right. OK, we'll multiply everything by 2, so you get w cubed minus 2w squared minus w plus 2 equals 0. And now you can group in pairs. So there's a common factor here, w squared in the first two terms, w squared outside of w minus 2. And then you can write minus 
W minus 2 for these two terms, factorise it with minus 1 outside, equals 0, and then your common factor is W minus 2, and what's left is W squared minus 1, which becomes W minus 2, W minus 1, W plus 1 equals 0. Okay. So therefore, W is equal to plus or minus 1 and 2. All right. Now, um, we know that uh, W is equal to Z plus 1 over Z as given in the question. Okay, up here. All right. And that's equal to... Okay, remember that's, that's the same as Z plus Z to the minus 1. So you can use um, this expression, all right, to write Z in terms of cos. So it would be 2 cos of 1 theta. So it's just 2 cos theta. So that's what W is equal to, 2 cos theta. So now we're going to write that 2 cos theta is W, so 2 cos theta equals plus or minus 1, and 2 cos theta is equal to 2. Okay, now we can divide by 2, so cos theta equals plus or minus a half, and cos theta equals 1. All right. And your solutions for theta, of course, I'll just go over to this side, just up here, that therefore theta is going to be equal to zero, because cos of zero gives you one, and it's also going to give, uh, give you plus or minus um, pi on three, and also plus or minus two pi on three, because it wants all the angles between minus pi and pi, and those are the angles.